Hello, everyone. This is Sandy Britton, and I am very excited and have a background in wellness. But what I really want to share with you is a very special person who has done something fabulous in the field of understanding grief and dealing with things of loss. Now, personally, in the last 10 years, I've, lo I've lost a, a brother, a sister, a mother-in-law, and a father-in-law. Mm. So I certainly know what it's like and what my body goes through when I deal with a lot of different things. So with me today is Barb Ashcroft. Barb has been in the field of supporting people on their wellness journey for over 40 years. She's absolutely, in my mind, an expert in understanding the body and how it works. Recently, her passion has been to help people understand what happens to their body and what, how to deal with grief, both emotionally and mentally and physically and all these different aspects that we go through. For me, I, I had an answer that worked for me, Barb, and I know that, that you are so well-trained in so many different areas. Could you just tell us a little bit more about yourself and as I, as I ask you some few questions, I want people to know why you're qualified to give them the answer. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sandy. It's a joy to be with you here today. Well, I got started in wellness like many of us do through the back door, meaning that I had my own health breakdown as far as my whole body. I ended up at the end of um, 13 surgeries that um, I, I say wellness found me. I didn't find it because I was still of the mindset that you take, you go in for the lube oil filter change, which was a surgery, and you come out and you just do all the same things. But luckily, some wonderful mentors and natural health people came into my life. And I love to learn. So first of all, I started getting, you know, you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, when you start feeling better, it's like, wow, well, maybe there's something to this. And so being a student, an ongoing ever student, I started taking training and became, first of all, a certified herbalist. And then I thought, well, how do we know what one person needs and what another person needs? And I got intrigued by an herbalist to study iridology, the science of reading the body through the eyes and was blessed that I was able to study under Dr. Bernard Jensen and became a certified iridologist. After that, I thought, okay, now we know the body parts, but what do we know is going on inside? And at that point, I added live blood microscopy, dark field microscope to my work. And so we could see what the individual's body was saying. And then from there, some other energy modalities along the way. And so uh, I've worked with thousands of people across Western Canada and into the States as a natural practitioner and found that that was amazing to be able to, you know, give people some idea that their body's meant to be healthy and wow, we can help it do that. But definitely uh, things like stress and loss and, and we all know there's been an awful lot of loss in the last few years, whether it's loss of business, finances, relationships, or loved ones that we've lost. So, so it's just a, sort of a new outreach from my 40 years as a natural health advocate. But uh, it's interesting because a lot of the knowledge pops up still. Mm -hmm. So that's been wonderful to be able to, uh, you know, see, see that. So. Well, Barb, it sounds like that what you just said was that we actually, uh, our, our bodies have a lot to do with the way we're living and different things that are going on in our life. So mm -hmm. um, based on what you said, you said, wow, grief 
loss and you know a lot of times we think of grief and grief and loss like i just mentioned i lost some family members mm -hmm. but you're talking about different types of grief and loss that we go through at different stages of our life that could be related to our work could be related to an injury and, and different things like that and so along the way the body breaks down mm -hmm. and in that breakdown of the body uh then now we had a, an emotional issue that becomes a physical issue. And now we have a double, a double edged sword that maybe not be going in our direction. So mm -hmm. what can we do? Like, for example, if I was really dealing with oh, just an extreme amount of brain fog, because I just mm -hmm. couldn't quite get myself out of my situation. Is there some things that I could do and support my body so that it would help me to get back on track? Absolutely. And these are some of the favorite tools that I've not only experienced myself, but ha had thousands of clients who have shared their benefits with me. And if you can imagine that this is a highway, we've got to have really good uh, freeway of nutrients and oxygen to get to the brain. And so how do we do that? Well, we all, obviously we have a nervous system as well. So we want to be feeding that nervous system because we know when we're stressed, the body eats up those nutrients, sort of like sponges, like crazy, because it needs to, mm -hmm. it needs that extra support. So one of the things that I found it on helping people with the brain fog and just the blankness that happens is uh, a product called um, NeuroBright. Don't know if you can see it well there, but it is a complex nervine formula. But what it also is combined with a, an amazing mineral antioxidant called microhydrin that works that highway. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, hydrogen, which is in microhydrin, can go through steel. <laughs> I mean, it's the smallest element. So it doesn't care whether there's narrowings or anything else. It's going to get where it's going to go. And so that works like a highway to carry the right nutrients. So we can think, learn, and remember. And I think having that kind of bolstering is so wonderfully key to be able to support again we're wanting to support so that we've got the faculties to, to go on and another aspect of that with the, the microhydrin is that it is highly alkaline and when we're stressed we produce acid mm -hmm. and when we're acidic Wow, we have so much more inflammation and in the brain too, mm -hmm. everywhere in the whole system. So taking a nutrient that naturally, again, the hydrogen is for energy. So you've got energy. So you don't necessarily feel that you have to hunker down in your bedroom uh, just to you know stay away because of the stresses. But you get an opportunity to neutralize that acid and to be able to have some help. And those are two key nutrients that I've been loving and experiencing for some decades now and continue to, because I think um, from what people are sharing with me when they're in the midst, it's naturally that they want to cocoon and not do as much, but if they can be a little more active with more energy, less pain, and more vibrant brain cells to be able to help them process, then they'll get to the other side a little bit sooner or with a lot less trauma, just neutralizing some of that trauma. Well, Barb, you mentioned, uh, remember, I've gotten a little older, a lot of us have gotten a little older, and uh, that to me, um, um, without even dealing with a lot of grief, sometimes I feel like I, my memory isn't quite what it used to be. How does this product, uh, I can see what you were saying about uh, 
getting rid of some of the brain fog and stuff like that. But how does this oh, first product you mentioned called Neurobrite, how does it help us uh, in that process of getting that clearer thinking to where we can actually remember some of that short term thing starts to go when we get preoccupied with things like grief and pressure and all those other things that seem mm-hmm. to slow us down. That to me is like, I get excited when you say, remember. Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, one of uh, my wonderful teachers, Dr. Albert Zayer, used to say, you know, it's all about supply. Uh, When you have a newborn baby and uh, the baby wakes up and is fussy, uh, the mom nurses the baby because of supply. Mm -hmm. But oftentimes, it's just a matter of the baby nurses for five minutes and then is sound asleep. And you think, oh, why did I woken up to, you know, but what it illustrates is that there's an imbalance, Mm -hmm. just a slight imbalance. Mm -hmm. So by getting the natural nutrients that the body needs, in a supply, then the body can recalibrate itself. And so that's where we can have help with with memory for sure. And I love the studies that were done on this that showed, you know, this, even the uh, the, the, the group that are called the slow learners in any study disappeared, it totally disappeared. And so I thought, wow, that's, that has merit and it's something that I notice a difference if I have neglected even for a couple of days to take it it's like I'm not firing on all cylinders you know and so I think that's that's a real key wonderful nutrient that anybody whether they're in university studying and being younger or those of us who are over 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, over 70 for me, it's something I feel is a real key part of our daily nutritional protocol just to keep bolstered. Mm-hmm. And you were talking about acid with the other product you mentioned, uh, Microhydrum Plus. And um, tell me a little bit about that because I know I've heard before about, you know, it's important to keep our pH balanced because that has a lot to do with our wellness. And when we go through stress and you know our adrenals are flowing and everything's going crazy, our pH gets off. So are what you're saying is that product helps to balance your pH in your body? Yes, it's, it's highly alkaline and it really helps recalibrate that aspect. Mm-hmm. And, and my goodness, uh, as far as the amount of antioxidant protection as well. Of course, when we're really stressed, that's when we can also, our defenses are down. Mm -hmm. So you want mega antioxidants to be putting out those fires that are starting here, there, here, there. And so it's just a really wonderful way of doing that in a very efficient capsule. So that's, an. I mean, I know, people who are really big in exercise, the marathoners and all of that, the ultra marathoners, they use it for energy. But imagine if you can be lapping up the lactic acid as well as the other acids in the body that are running amok. So just, uh, again, just a few things to be able to give people a starting point. Mm -hmm. And those are our two key ones that I would definitely endorse from, from looking at all the blood cells I've looked at over the decades, you know, it just, it really does hold uh, a really special place. Well, I'm, I'm excited to hear how you share two little simple products that can make a big difference in people's life, not only uh, under circumstances of when we're dealing with stress or loss, but also for everyday activities, because you could be going down the highway and something stressed you out (laughs) Mm -hmm. someone driving or something are are working in your backyard and you're getting way 
you're, you know, you're getting your muscles all sore. So it's not just, just for the ultra marathoners and the person that's dealing with grief, but it made sense. You made it sound like this is for everybody every day to maintain. And like you said, we want to get that perfect health balance back in our life. And when we lose it, it's even harder and harder to regain. So sometimes it's good to keep, uh, like you said, those little pathways open and mm -hmm. using a couple of products like this can really put us on the right track to uh, not only remembering things a little bit better, but to actually get out of that fog when we're dealing with lack of clarity and also to give our bodies a little more energy. And you know what? I don't know anybody right now who doesn't want a little more energy naturally mm -hmm. the way your body Absolutely. is intended to have. So that For is- For sure. Yes. And you know it. Thank you, Sandy. Well, you know, I just want to finish off with one last thought, and that is um, I interviewed a notary um, as far as her words of wisdom for people, you know, legally what they need to have in place. And she one of her points was, who is your go to person? If something happens to your loved one, who are you? Who's the first person you're going to call? So she says, not Ghostbusters. Who's your who? Who are you, you going to call? And I thought. When, when you were just sharing, I thought, okay, we also have your go-tos. Yeah. These are go-tos to, you know, to be able to vaccinate you against further health breakdown while you're in the midst of whatever it is that you're doing. So I really thank you for, uh, for asking me to, you know, be on here with you and just share a little tiny bit of knowledge. Well, I appreciate your wisdom. I appreciate your knowledge and, and uh, the things that you uh, have shared with us. And I know that everyone else will too. So thank you so much, Barb, for sharing today. Bye for now. Bye-bye.